Hello, everybody. Sorry that this video is late to the game on uh, in my coverage of uh, interpersonal attraction. Uh, but in this video, I'm going to cover age preferences. Now, most folks have probably noticed that um, in general, women tend to pair with men who are slightly too much older than them, and men tend to pair with women who are slightly too much younger them. And, you know, certainly people who, uh, you know, don't know about many other cultures, you know, they, they get this impression, well, that's just America for you. You know, men in America just want, uh, you know, young brides. <clears throat> well, it's not just an American thing. In fact, it's a worldwide thing. All right. All around the planet, and this has been established uh, with research examining all of these countries, all around the planet, men tend to be older than their, uh, than their husbands tend to be older than their wives. Um, and that age difference, the, the worldwide average is about three years. So on average, around the planet, men tend, tend to be about three years older than uh, their uh, wives. Um, but it can range widely. There are some countries where the age difference is, I think, a year or under. And some where it's as high as, I think, 11 years or more. <clears throat> so it can w w uh, range widely, but the average is about three years. Now, why is it that across the planet and across culture, all right, where, you know, different things are emphasized, why is it across cultures, men prefer younger people or younger uh, partners, whereas women prefer older partners? Well, one common argument is that well, it's because uh, women mature faster than men, and so they want uh, <clears throat> to be with someone older than them so that they can be with a mature partner. And that's, that is an argument that I commonly hear from my family, my friends who aren't psychological scientists. Um, it's a common idea. As for whether or not it's backed up by research, I, I, I've never read an article that suggests that. Doesn't mean it's not out there. Um, and if any of my viewers in my class or not find some empirical research that shows that, please send them my way. I really wanna, I really wanna read that because I've never seen any evidence to that effect. Instead, what the evidence seems to suggest is that <clears throat> the reason men on average prefer younger women has nothing to uh, do with uh, maturity and on average the reason men don't or women don't uh, the on average the women on average the research suggests that the reason women prefer older men is not necessarily for maturity but in general resources okay so let's talk about this now I talk about this in other videos, but in general, men and women have different adaptive problems. They have different challenges facing them in reproduction. Women have the problem of parental investment. They're more biologically invested in their offspring. Even if they abandon their child at birth, they're more invested in the rearing of that offspring than men are. Men are all have a, a very different problem. They have the problem of parental certainty. Until very recently where we have parental tests, uh, paternity tests, up until that point, we, men were never 100% certain that they were the father of their child. And even with those paternity tests, they are not without fall. So even then there's a small degree of uncertainty. So men are never 100% certain that they are the father of their children. <clears throat> Now, these two things create problems. According to sexual strategies theory, this is what supposedly leads men to prefer short-term mating strategies and women to prefer long-term mating strategies. Women don't want to get into short. So sexual strategies theory argues that because women are more invested, uh, pairing with a partner very briefly might lead them to be pregnant with that partner's child, but then they leave and then they're left to uh, take care of the child all by themselves. And obviously caring for the child and accumulating resources simultaneously is harder to do, <clears throat> which is 
thought to be part of the reason that delayed developmental period is thought to be part of the reason why men, why humans pair in the first place, uh, or at least it's part of the reason. Um, that do, our babies take longer to become independent. And so because taking care of a baby and acquiring resources at the same time is harder, we pair up to do the job together. Now, um, <clears throat> men on the other hand, because they're never 100% certain of their paternity, if they heavily invest in one woman and that woman cheats on them, they're screwed. Because if they never find out, they, they've invested all their time and energy into, help, into helping the offspring of another man if the woman cheated on him, all right, and got pregnant by the other guy. If she never told him, he would go his whole life potentially thinking, oh, I have a baby, and he's completely cut out of reproduction. He will never have reproduced, all right? And so sexual strategy theory argues that that's why men prefer short-term mating and women prefer long-term mating. Women want someone who's going to invest. Men want somebody who's going to let them safely jump from partner to partner so they can increase their chances of having an offspring by somebody. Now, <clears throat> these same factors are said to influence mating preferences, or uh, yeah, mating preferences for age specifically. Um, because women want someone who will invest, and someone who can help them acquire resources, it's more advantageous to have a partner who maybe already has resources. Because then the, guess, the guessing game of whether they will have resources is completely cut out of the mix, because they already have them, right? Well, older men, men acquire more resources as they get older. So older men have more resources than younger men. <clears throat> so women, show a preference for older men. And here's one cool thing. That preference women have for older men, that never changes. But the preference that men have for younger women, it does. Remember that men have the problem of parental uncertainty. They're never certain of their paternity. And remember that according to sexual strategies theory, that's the reason they prefer, prefer short-term mates, right? So that they can increase the chances of having a baby. Well, <clears throat> because they prefer a short term, because the whole reason that they even have a preference for a short term, short term mating is because they want to increase the chances of having a mate, an, an mating with anybody indiscriminately doesn't help them ensure that, that they will have a baby. Specifically, they need to tailor who they're mating with. They need to mate with women who are more likely to actually have a child. And so, because women's ability to have an, uh, children uh, tends to decline as they get older and after menopause completely stops, <clears throat> younger women are more able to have children than our older women. So the argument is that this is why men on average tend to prefer younger women. But, and here's the cool thing that I was mentioning earlier, Men don't actually prefer younger women across their whole lives. Women prefer older men their whole lives, but men, they don't. In fact, when men are younger, like in their early teens and teen, uh, early, uh, in their teens, not just, not just early teens, in their teens, men tend to actually prefer older women. Teenage guys tend to like the college girl. College guys tend to like the college girl, and then older men tend to like uh, the college age girl. And then as they get older and older and older, as men get older and older and older, their preference gets younger and younger and younger. All right. So it appears that men's age preference is anchored to went to the age at which women would be more successful or most successful at having children. Um, <clears throat> that quirk is just cool to me. So you may not find that cool, but I think it is. But I'm a dork. I'm a, I'm a dorky uh, student of human behavior. So there we go. In this video, we've talked about um, differences in age preferences. Women prefer older men across their lifespan. Men prefer uh, older women when they're young. Similarly aged women when they're in about their 20s, and then younger and younger women as they get older. 
And we've discussed reasons why. In our discussion, we talked about sexual strategies theory, and we talked about long versus short-term mating. Long-term mating, because I don't know that I ever actually gave an explicit definition, long-term mating refers to when you want to enter into a committed relationship, or at least a relationship that lasts for a while. Short-term mating is, you can think of it like a hookup, all right, or a casual fling. Um, not, no real commitment that's involved in a short-term mating uh, arrangement. So we've talked about sexual strategies theory, men and women's preferences for different mating strategies, the reasons they have those preferences, and how those same reasons influence men and women's age preferences. All right, guys, that's it for this video. As always, if you have any questions, let me know. If not, have a great week. I'll see you later.